Okay, so I would have liked to put all of these stories in the video that I released earlier, but due to time constraints and the length of the video already being as long as it was, I decided to just break up these stories into their own separate video. So I hope you guys actually enjoy this layout uh, as opposed to making the other one half an hour long. This story is a bit of a two-parter, so please keep that in mind. First off, I do need to talk about an upgrade or update that we can expect out of the Vive Focus Pro headset, the no, Vive Focus Plus headset that we can expect to release at some point between September and December of this year that will allow it access to Vive for Infinity. However, in order to be able to use Vive for Infinity on your Vive Focus Plus headset, there are quite a few things you, you need access to. And one of those is a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, a computer with a Vive Port Infinity subscription, and all of that has to be on the same network. In order to access it though, you just need to log into the Vive Port Infinity account on the headset itself, as well as the PC you'll be connecting through. And on top of that, you need to choose the PC stream option on the headset's main menu to bring up all of the PC 5 port apps that you have available on the computer. As I'm sure you're very well aware by now, because 5 port, in 5 port Infinity is available to all major PC headsets at this point, there are over 2,000 virtual reality applications for PC and mobile devices so far. So, do not hesitate to access that subscription however you choose to, whether it's through the Oculus headsets, the Valve Index, or the, the HTC Vive headset. Okay, in addition to all that streaming beautifulness that you can expect out of the HTC Vive Focus Plus headset, one of the major things that is going to help us stream virtual reality like uh, as in not downloading the game at all onto our physical machines is going to be Wi-Fi generation 6. So instead of using 5G mobile networks, you'll be able to use in-home Wi-Fi. However, while the power capability of Wi-Fi 6 is immense, 11 times faster than current average American internet speed. 165 megabytes per second as, as opposed to 15. All that sounds amazing, right? But the biggest caveat there is going to be how are ISPs going to be capable of doing this? Short answer is they can't. It's going to take a lot more uh, what, what's the word? Infrastructure framework. It is going to require an improvement in the infrastructure framework that many ISPs rely on. That being said, internet of these speeds is not going to be sufficiently possible for a few years. So, I, I know I probably got your hopes up there, but do keep an eye out. It's, I guess it'll, it'll be a little while, just like we would have the 5G mobile networks are that way. But hopefully we can actually do it at some point because I want to be able to play my freaking games. So something else we kind of have to talk about, but at the same time, not really is that Sony is, as you could probably guess, gaining market share in the low-end virtual reality market. And they are, in doing so, beating out competitors such as the Google Daydream and Cardboard, as well as the Samsung Gear VR headsets, all of which are losing compatibility with their upcoming phones, like the Google Pixel 3 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Those would be able to support those virtual reality headsets. However, 
those manufacturers have decided to cut support for those phones. And on top of that, we already know that Sony is planning on moving forward into the medium range market by making a second generation VR headset, which we can likely expect around 2021, maybe 22, as they are currently working on designs for it. So that is something that we can expect as well as what we can kind of see at the moment. Okay, so we have to talk about some small thing, and that is just that Valve was originally going to give us a first party virtual link adapter that would replace the three plugs that, that would have covered the display port, USB, and power with a single USB C port and plug that into virtual link compatible GPUs. However, Due to a small technical difficulty, they decided to not only cancel it, but refund those people who have already ordered it. And on top of that refund, they're giving customers who've already purchased the adapter $20 in Steam credit. Chances are you already know about this if you ordered it because you probably received it or received some kind of email detailing this. But the reason for canceling this is, quote, the adapter cable was originally meant to provide added convenience for Valve Index users, making it so they could rely on a single USB connection to the headset rather than requiring separate physical connections for video, USB, and power. However, for multiple technical reasons, we no longer believe that the product would deliver that added convenience. Foremost on that list is reliability. Our current testing indicates the VR connection may fail to establish in a reliable manner. Additionally, virtual link technology has not been widely adopted by manufacturers, laptops in particular, where a single connection could be the most beneficial. Translating to very few PCs having viable ports for the connection. In it, they weren't clear if the reliability issue due to their own adapter design or relating to protocol. And no matter the case, they felt that it wasn't worth fixing the issues to get it out the door because of the adoption of virtual link laptops, where the ability to support would be official. What I expect though is Valve does have a a bit of a history to try to deliver the, at least attempt to deliver the, the best experience possible, whether that be with consoles or game curation or whatever the case. So they are going to attempt to fix the problem in such a way that will help their consumer base, even if that may be discontinuing the product in the long run, like they did with the uh, with this Steam box years back, or last year, I can't remember. In any case, it's a very likely that they are going to at least look into it, figure out what the best course of action is, whether it be keeping it dead or reworking it the design. Finally, this last piece of news isn't quite as important as a lot of the other stuff I've touched on tonight, but it's still important. No Man's Sky is getting its free virtual reality update on Wednesday the 14th, which all of us have been excited about since it was unveiled back at E3 a couple months ago. And if you don't own the game yet, that's fine. It's going to be half off on both Steam and PSN, 30 on Steam and 25 on the PlayStation Store. Like I said, half off all the way through the 21st, and the VR update is coming out on Wednesday the 14th. So if you don't own it, that's fine. You still have time to get it for cheap, okay? If you guys are still here and you're feeling charitable in some way, you can activate that charity in a few different ways. The 
first one, you can go to HumbleBundle.com and pick out one of the bundles that they have for sale there. When you get one of these bundles, you're not, you're not only able to get some good software or books or games or what, whatever it is that you're, you're choosing, but you're also able to support a charity of your choice. They have a few different ones available, so you don't have to feel necessarily tied down to helping children or animals. The, even though, well, animals are always a good one, aren't they? And then, if that is up your speed, I'm selling these headphones on Amazon. Link on screen. I personally use them. I really like them. And they've been working out really well for me. If that still doesn't really work out well for you, I've got a link on screen also for my Patreon. Well, up here somewhere, I, I don't know where I'll put it, but you'll find it somewhere, I hope, probably, maybe. Uh, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.